Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel everybody. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and take a look at the you versus them love read. I did put a poll vote out last week, Saggy, and this is the reading that won. So here I am bringing this reading here for you today. Of course, if you enjoy the messages coming forward and you find that it resonates or you got value out of this, don't forget to hit that like button to let me know. And if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe. In doing so, you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel, which is usually weekly, okay? For those of you returning, welcome back, everybody. I adore you and I adore all the support and love that that comes from you. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that's in view. We've got You're coming through as the elephant, fire energy, nice. Ooh, double fire, double fire, Sagittarius, whoa. Okay, let's not mess with the Sagittarians this week, everybody. If you're a cross-watcher, do not mess with the Sagittarian. Unicorn, okay, so your person's coming through as the unicorn and the snake. And the snake. Mmm. I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting player-like vibes coming from the snake and the unicorn, yeah? I just get the sense that, to me, this unicorn kind of looks like someone who's trying to present as a knight in shining armour. Like, look at me, you know. Um, yeah, they're coming through as trying to be maybe someone that they're not. They might be talking their character up as well. Um, but here with the snake, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like this person's a bit of a snake. I don't know why it's coming through. And I think, I feel like because you're coming through as double fire, I can see now why. Because you're like... Mate, I am not going to put up with this. Mm. There's something toxic coming from your person. And with the elephant and the tiger, you're just, you're a bit wary. Okay, you're a bit wary. See how you're coming through as the elephant, but in the third eye chakra of the elephant, there's a red dot. And I feel like this red dot is like you're seeing a red flag when it comes to this person that you're connecting to. For some of you, this could be your committed partner because I'm seeing, see the snake is sort of representing... It's positioning itself like a circle, and the circle can present as a ring. Okay, so for some of you, this person may be your committed partner. This could be someone who is maybe saying to you that they're looking for commitment. This could be someone that says they... Like, I, I just get the sense, Sagittarius, that this person's talking themselves up. Like, they could be saying they've got this and they've got that. And you know what? It's not really true. It's not really the, the case. They could be saying that they're, they're a CEO of a business or a company. And it's just, I feel like it's not true. I feel like it's fabricated because the unicorn is a fantasy. It's not real. It's not a real animal like the tiger is. But you're also coming through with the tiger is very intuitive. Okay, and your intuition, your animal instincts, uh, your instincts, the tiger is very instinctual. He goes by instinct, okay? He operates on instinct. And your instincts are saying something isn't right here. I feel with the elephant that you're going to trample all over that. Okay, you're going to call that out. 
Okay, you're going to call it out. You're not going to deal with that. You may see the red flag a lot quicker because you've dealt with someone like this before. So you've got the smarts up here. Let's see what the connecting energy is between you and this person. What's the connecting energy between Sagittarius and their person? Spirit, angels and guides. Guys, I'm also over on Instagram. If you feel you want to connect with me over on that platform, feel free to do so. I do put exclusive content out on Instagram. And I also do monthly readings and I ha currently have a February reading. So uploaded on the IGTV channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, feel free to explore. Look at the bigger picture. That's what you're seeing. Look at this full moon in Sagittarius. Even this full moon looks like a red flag. It looks like a... Well, it doesn't look like a flag, but you know what I mean. It's a circle. But I feel the connecting energy here is red flags, big time. Big time red flags. And you're looking at the bigger picture here. You're like, mm, if I don't call this out now, then whatever I ignore right now, it's going to bite me on the bum later. So I feel like you're calling this out. Because you're seeing it. It's, it's, it's obvious to you. And your person is trying to paint this picture. That's the connecting energy. They're trying to paint you a picture. They're trying to paint you a story. But it's not real. They're trying to get you to maybe trust them. Or, yeah, feel comfortable with them by maybe presenting this story how they feel like you want to see it. Hope that makes sense, guys. I really, really do. So let's take a look at your feelings towards each other. Spirit, angels and guides. How does Sagittarius feel towards their person? Oh, 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 we've got the devil, the devil. You are tempted by them, though. There is a temptation on your end, but you know, like, this person isn't good for me. This person's toxic. I feel that they're toxic, but I still have, like, I feel, I still feel tempted by them. You may also feel sort of slightly obsessed Nine of Pentacles. You may feel that this person is successful or they've got money. The Magician. You feel with the Magician card here, especially with the Devil card, that this person is trying to pull a Swifty. See these nine pentacles? They're kind of nestled in this nest of feathers. So it's like they're hidden. These pentacles are like hidden behind these feathers. Which indicates to me that could it be that this person really has what they say they have? You know, they, they're telling me that they've got this house or they've got this business, but it's hidden within these feathers. So could it be really true? You feel that they could be lying about their success or the possessions, like the material things that they have in their life. You feel with the magician here, because the magician can, can create tricks. You feel that they're trying to manipulate you. You feel it. It's an instinct. You're coming through as the tiger. We don't mess with the tiger. 
Okay, how does this person feel towards you? <laughs> Five of Wands? Really? Something tells me here with the Five of Wands that you're not the only person they're giving attention to here. For others of you, they could feel that you're being overly dramatic and kind of like projecting that onto you. I don't know why, but I feel like I've got a bit of an attitude as I'm doing your reading. Could it be that your person's got an attitude problem? I don't know. I've, got, I've kind of like morphed into this character that's got an attitude strength i feel like with this strength card that this person's sort of coming across with the five of wands behind the strength as a bit full of themselves okay like they're trying to charm you with this rose coming across like they're all romantic i'll take this the card that i see which is the five of swords i feel like this person's got a bit of an ego problem And I feel that, see this worm? It's been severed in two. There's a sword here that's separating this worm. So I feel like communication is cut. They feel disconnected. They will feel disconnected from you this week. They definitely, look, we've got the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. There's clear tension here. There's clearly tension. They feel the tension. They feel this whole scenario is tense. outcome Sagittarius or any advice that wants to come forward spirit angels and guides page of swords I feel like you're taking your time queen of pentacles you're trying to remain very grounded this week okay you've, you're coming through as a page of swords maybe either you or they are look at this king of pentacles in reverse yep yeah this person's trying to buy you with their money the hanged man this person's clearly going to hang themselves not literally goodness but i feel that this connection will stop or be on pause due to this king of pentacles being full of themselves because when the king of pentacles is in reverse they're they're, they're more heavily focused on their material world. They're focused on their money. Like money drives this king. Um, their finances and the things that they have in their life is their biggest motivator. And you're seeing that as a red flag. You're like, I'm not attracted to that. And it's like this person, I feel like the overall outcome is I feel like things will stop. I don't know. I don't feel like things will progress here with the hanged man. It's like, no. I'm hanging myself up. It's like pressing the pause button on the hanged man. Because you know what? With the seven of swords here, I feel like, Sagittarius, you've got questions. You've got questions that need to be answered because something doesn't feel right. 
and I feel with the Queen of Pentacles and the Hanged Man here is that you're taking a very realistic look and approach to this situation. Yeah, you're, you're remaining very grounded here. You know, you've worked really hard on yourself to get yourself to this position. And you're not going to throw it all away because, you know, some Romeo is coming in trying to paint this picture and make themselves look good. But I feel with the hanged man here, Sagittarius, is you're going to get a better perspective or you're going to get a, a very clear view of who this person really is. You're going to see things differently this week when it comes to this person. And it's kind of like they're going to do it to themselves. Because I get, because this hangman is sitting underneath your person's energy, I feel like they're going to hang themselves. It's like they're going to put their foot in it. Yeah, and with their five of swords on their side, it's like their own doing. So there we have it, Sagittarius. Um, hopefully this reading resonated with you here today. Until next time, take care.